is Janice B and for all of you who are just new to my channel and you wanted to learn more of YouTube tips and tutorials please do consider to subscribe and um, hit the like button and of course the notification bell so you'll be updated with my videos and also if you can please share my videos to your community I will truly appreciate that so we will be able to share the right information to the right audience and most of all we try to build the community where we'll be able to help each and every creator to have the right information to write to have all the um, relevant sources for the them to be able to know what needs to be done in this situation where you need to address some issues in your YouTube channel so I hope you okay I hope you had a good break you have a coffee sipping already and you have your coffee with you and uh, just consider this one as just a little bit of a podcasting as as I would say but if you have any questions I'm just around um, I'm actually listening to myself as a at the moment and listening with you and answering your question in the real time but again thank you so much for staying with me and I hope that you are enjoying listening to my podcasting this is my second time I think that I had my um, live streaming recorded because I really wanted to address several issues and I know this is not going to be like a one-off because napakahaba ng ganitong discussion and I wanted to have more focused with regards to uh, um, discussing these issues because this is very important as important as having your pocket money <laughs> no 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 I'm just kidding but again let's go to a much deeper um, topic okay I wanted to take you to I would say ano po ba yung mangyayari if my account received a warning for a policy violation consider each of the email as a warning already if you have violated and if you have used an invalid traffic to inflate your views shall we say yung mga nagbo-boosting okay uh, it happened already if you've watched the premiere of Ingrata DRTs one of the live streaming was turned down by YouTube because of the number of viewers went all the way to 400 something from 60 and at the time she was so surprised what happened and um, she she was able to share that actually in her premiere video and um, it is not a joke actually uh, to be honest I was really like uh, scared for her I was really scared for for what's what will happen even though it was um, uh, it was under appeal but we don't know you know what's next because if you use any invalid traffic to um to increase your number of views especially if you're doing a live streaming there's a risk involved i know like sasabihin nyo wala pa naman nangyayari eh dami dami naman yung gumagamit don't jump into the ocean if you don't know how to swim don't try to follow what others are doing just because everybody was doing i made that mistake of doing the live stream parang non-stop i was not like stopping i can do live stream every single second that i'm available and look at what happened to my channel i ended up of like poof okay Kasi nga, ayokong gumawa ng ganong mga nam, uh, activities and that's the reason why you will see like I have less viewers than others but I am not particular with the number of viewers that I have but the most important thing is I am sharing the right information and I'm not doing anything that will risk my channel. I'm, I'm not saying anything to anyone because that's their own activity and I'm not gonna be like um you know saying anything bad parang naghihintay kayo o may sasabihin siya, may sasabihin siya wala pa ako sasabihin because that is your intention, that is your um um, this is Shonila Yuni. And um, what I'm just trying to say is that kanya-kanya tayo ng discard sa mga channel natin. And when it comes to um, the point that um, when you when you will be uh, when you receive any email from YouTube and that's the time na parang wake up call para sa mga creator na anything na may ginawang violation. Come. Okay. Note that you will be able to receive something. Okay? Hindi yan basta lang binaba ni YouTube yung inyong, inyong, YouTube, inyong live streaming and that's it. YouTube will explain what happened. Like, parang nung... Minsan kasi nangyari before na biglang pinaba yung live streaming ko but I haven't received any email and I've responded to to my call na parang gusto ko sabihin na why did you turn it down pero binalik naman ni YouTube that was like a bit of a glitch but it was a different story when you've received an email stating that um, this live streaming was uh, no longer available because of invalid traffic blah 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 ang ibig ko sabihin dito were those videos or those content that were 
uh, put down by YouTube. Hindi ko sinabi as a chan channel as a whole. Okay? That's a different story. If you receive an account warning, that is your whole channel. But if you've just received a warning for a particular content, that is a different story as well. Kasi magkaiba yung account as a whole, pwede ka masuspend that you will not be able to upload for a month, for a week, for uh, three months, depende kung nasa pang ilang stage ka na ng violation of that particular policy. But the high risk of being suspended or shall we say disabled in, addos in addition to the a violation that, accru that you keep on accruing in your channel, you should immediately take time to review what's going on with your channel. Wag mo pabayaan. That is sinasabi ko, you have to be so responsive with regards to the uh, the call of YouTube for you to make an action. Kasi napaka-importante that you know what you're gonna do. Know that they will try to give us a warning and at that point, you have to do something. You have to review. You have to rectify. You have to do a resolution para lang maagapan mo ang pagkasuspend ng inyong channel. So, what does it mean? If your account, account ang sinasabi ko, hindi ko sinabing yung video mo was taken down. Account for for policy reasons. Okay, I, I'm... I have to be very, very specific here. I'm saying your account is suspended for policy. You may temporarily, pansamantala, again, tinagalog ko na siya, hindi ko sinabi, totally, you will be temporarily suspended if the policy or um, was violated. Ibig sabihin, you still have the final opportunity for you to be able to review your content, your, um, your channel as a whole, and do a very corrective it is very important that you know this part and you know what to do because there's no point of me saying this on oh, a suspend ka so ano na gagawin? I have to tell you what you have to do and I have to guide you if your account is suspended and you have to know that it will be placed on an immediate placement hold maho hold ka agad yan hindi ka kaagad hindi si hindi sinabi na oh next week uh next week pa lang to ma-implement ha no it will be on automatic um hold Okay, wala ka ma -re receive na income right then and there. Okay? And there will be no ads to be displayed in your YouTube channel. Marami tayong naririnig na oh, na ano na ako na monetize na ako nag first um uh, live streaming na nga ako as monetized. After then, nawala na siya. After mo ba switch on, 'di ba? Kapag nag-upload ka ng, ng mga videos mo, nung hindi ka pa naman monetize, you are not switching it on to monetization as on and off. After na monetize ka, you are going to monetize each of your content. So, you're trying to slide it to on, on, on. Nung na-on mo yung isang content na may reuse content, na may reuse, na-on mo yung isang content na meron siyang violation, right then and there, your payment will be on hold, you will get demonetized, and you have to either, minsan, um... Kung ilang per, depende yan sa YouTube ha. It's not like, depende yan sa human reviewer kung they will allow you to get monetized or not. Or karamihan talaga is you will be given another 30 days for you to be able to complete that 4,000 after matanggal yung mga um, hours na merong violation. Okay? So, note that it will, they will continue to monitor, obviously, your account for compliance. Kagaya nang nangyari sa akin, I was like, one and a half, kailangan ko munang matapos yung all live streaming ko before I can appeal. Uh, either walang ads sa live streaming ko or a uh, very minimal lang yung ads sa live streaming ko because of that. So, in addition to the violation, I didn't violate. I made the call to action right then and there and na report ko yung sarili ko. This is what's happening. Kahit lumipat ako kay ati kuya na channel, sinusundan pa rin niya ako and that what calls us for a very responsible adult or shall we say wag nating paglaruan ang mga channel ng my channel because you have to know the consequences of your action and you cannot oh i'm so sorry i did that no you did that before you say sorry because if you're going to be accountable for any disabled channel uh, for, i'm not sure if you're happy doing that but if 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 you will be if you're going to ask me for the period of 60 days to the day you were, that you were disabled your account hindi yan hindi yan 2 months yan na wala kang salary diba they will withhold your earnings for the next 60 60 days period and come to think paano kung yun lang yung yun lang yung pinagkukuhanan niya ng income and 
paano kung nag, nag-stop na siya mag-work and, uh, sa kanyang employment and then uh, yun na lang yung pinagkukuha na ng income. Come to think about the family that, you know, umaasa sa ganun, umaasa sa kita nila sa YouTube. That's why it's very important that you are very responsible with your actions. You're very responsible with anything that you do, not just in your YouTube channel, but in your life as a whole. Because anything that will come up uh, because of your wrongdoings, anything that will come up because of your wrong actions, your wrong decisions, something will su- so- somehow one person will suffer or kung hindi man yung person, that channel will will suffer. So, what should you do when your account is suspended for policy reasons? You have, again, kagaya na sinabi ko dun sa first part, please read through the emails, through the the content of the email, what violation and what you have to do and what you can do. Kasi meron isang channel before na naka-receive siya ng suspension. Ang ginawa niya, gumawa siya ng isang account and then habang nakasuspend siya. Remember, there are some content in that particular email that you You are, you are not allowed to create, you are not allowed to upload, you are not allowed to make any other um, account in YouTube uh, because you're, you as a creator, you are not allowed to do that. So, uh, please go through that guidelines. Try to be a responsible creator and make sure that you are monitoring your network or na alam mo kung kanino ka sasali, alam mo kung kanino ka, ka makikinig, alam mo kung parang Minsan kasi may mga innocent na mga creator na parang, ha, ganito ba talaga to Biglang lumalaki, biglang lumiliit. Remember the boosters, the boosting numbers, they are not counted in any how. Wala yung hindi nakakadagdag yan ng views, hindi nakakadagdag yan ng, ng watch hours or anything. These were just all like a marketing strategy or shall, I would say, parang sabihin mo, oh, wow, ang daming ang tao. Pero pagtingin mo naman doon sa participants, tatlo, apat, lima, ganyan. You have to be, uh, yung do, you don't need to fool yourself. Kung isa lang yan, dalawa lang yan, tatlo lang yan. It's completely enough for you because you need to be, you need to be in compliance in every way. Kung isa lang na nanonood sa iyo, dalawa lang na nanonood sa iyo, it's completely fine because that's how uh, how you perform and you have to accept it. And sabi ko nga kahit ilan man yan, I am so happy kahit dalawa o isa because you are trying to be an informative live streamer and you're trying to share any information that you think relevant to them and if ayaw nila makinig then it's fine but at the end of the day it is my own kaligayahan na makapag-share it is my own um, will na uh, this is my live streaming and I will continue to uphold the right thing in my live streaming so I hope that you will do the same and I hope that um, uh, wag nating yung minsan kasi nagkakaroon tayo ng ugali na tama na yung sinasabi and then you still like parang nag, nag, nagpupumiglas ka na sabi na, ano ba yung sinasabi niya? Walang katuturan yung sinasabi niya. Or, I would say, dahil nga opposite yung sin- ginagawa mo sa sinasabi ko ngayon, magagalit ka sa akin. It's completely okay, but come to think about your longer relationship. Again, I'm repeating it. Because the more you're repeatedly doing this, the more you taking the risk of having an account suspended or any of the policy reasons that might take you to that um, suspension or should I, w- I would say na parang just try to avoid any future of something like this because at the end of the day magsasuffer yung earnings mo magsasuffer yung channel mo at um, if we try to parang sabihin, eh kasi naman allowed naman, bakit marami naman gumagawa I am here not to celebrate any wrongdoings, I'm not saying that they are wrong, but uh, what I'm just saying is, that is not acceptable in the policy of YouTube, okay so, your account was suspended because of any other reasons i will try to discuss that and let's just take a break because i wanted you to have a more a much deeper understanding why all these issues come to across in your channel or any of your friends channel or any anybody else that come across with this kind of um a problem because always remember that google treats every policy so seriously So, let's try to be more um, productive. Let's try to be more responsive. Let's try to protect each of our users or each of creators into a much more of a friendly community because I wanted to try to reach out na parang hindi ako negative. Hindi, hindi yung channel ko, hindi ako against sa inyo. I'm here to to give you uh, a little bit of information that can help because 
to take action na parang, oh, baka, baka ganito, baka ganito, baka. marami tayong baka. Kung baga, marami tayong bakahan, mayaman tayo sa baka. Pero, um, if reality strikes, anong gagawin ng baka? Magmumulang, di ba? Yan. But anyway, let's just have a break and let's continue for the fourth part of this series.